Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and it's something I've been playing for years but it's also something I totally put the back of my mind and then I decided okay let's reignite this style of things and it's some Brecherisms or Brecher overtones. I mean it's not him who invented them but he's quite famous for them or he was you know he still is. And first of all, a big shout out to Sean for showing me these extra little tweaks on my Breckerisms. A tweak like keeping the palm key down whilst overtoning on the G. Before, when I was doing these overtones, I was playing the D, then playing the G and overblowing the G to get the D. But I wasn't keeping the palm key down. So thank you very much, Mr. Sean. Thank you for that gold dust. Anyway. Moving on, this is a little device and I'll play it and then you'll hear what I mean. Okay, I fluffed up the first one, but that's okay, I'm going to keep it in the video because we will all make mistakes doing them. That's no problem, and I don't mind showing that we make mistakes. So I'll slow it down now. Then I'll break it down. Speeding up a little bit. Okay, now I'll break it down. So. What I'm doing is, I'm playing D, first of all. Then doing an overtone of D. Whilst holding the palm key D open, I'm playing the fingering for G. So you get this sound. You see the subtle differences in the tone? Then I'm going to B. So after I've done this D, then the auxiliary, then I'm going to B. Then I'm doing the same D, auxiliary, then going to C. Now putting them both together slowly. speed. That's my little Breckerism for the day and I thought I'd throw that little seed out for you to all try and pick upon and again I wish you all a fantastic day. Have a great time trying that. Do it slow though.